Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is uh, outside of medicine. Continuing the book of Proverbs. Um, I have finished the first part of chapter 20 and uh, just to remind if you recall, uh, the book of Proverbs are the wisdom of Solomon and also from chapter 10 it said uh, the uh, Proverbs of Solomon. So these are the, the words from Solomon. Uh, and the other uh, remind is just the one we read each verse of this you just have to to uh, to apply them uh, as a practical with context with uh, uh, for example I already mentioned in the previous chapter just not isolated that individual of the words or, or, or sentence and then has to be really um, seek deeper and then the the surface and then uh, to understand. For example, I already talked about that, listening to the instruction or do not listen to the instruction. I think this instruction uh, can really refer to the good uh, wisdom or the bad wisdom. So this is about uh, um, just to remind before I start. So I'm going to continue to finish the second part of chapter 20. I'm going to read first. Food gained by a fraud tastes sweet to a man, but he ends up with a mouth full of gravel. Make plans for seeking advice if you wage war, obtain guidance. A gossip betrays confidence, so avoid a man who talks so much. If a man curses his father or mother, his lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. An inheritance quickly gained at the beginning will not be blessed at the end. Do not say, I will pay you back of this wrong. Wait for the Lord, and he will deliver you. The Lord detests differing rates, and the dishonest skills do not please him. A man's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand his own way? It is a trap for a man to dedicate something rashly, and only later to consider his own vows. A wise king Winnows out of the wicked, he drives the threshing wheel out of them. The lamp of the Lord searches the spirit of a man, it searches out his inmost thing, being. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe, through love his throne is made secure. The glory of a young man is their strength, grey hair the splendor of the old. Blows and wounds cleanse away evil and beatings purge the inmost being. So this is about, uh, I just, uh, uh, without uh, pause, just finish reading. Um, so this is uh, the, the second part of chapter 20, talk about the wisdom, covered variety of, from the gossips or from the food, and then talk about the kings, and talk about uh, um, the Lord judgment, and also um, talk about the uh, inheritance. So this is, uh, let's see, food gained by fraud tastes sweet to a man, but ends up with a mouth full of gravel. So which means uh, a lot of, if you re, re I recall some movies, those uh, those people took the gold that uh, they should not took, and then the food just uh, tastes like ashes in their mouth. I think this is probably saying the same idea. It happens sometimes. Uh, because we're human, we... Our vision uh, is not that clear always. There's some confusing time. Um, make plans by seeking advice if you wage war, obtain guidance. So this is saying that uh, always have plans, particularly if there's a war. Uh, this war referring to the daily battle of life or the, really, the real war among the globe. But regardless, I think otherwise or uh, think uh, thoroughly. Uh, Consider thoroughly before the action. Uh, um, a gossip betrays the confidence, so avoid the man who uh, talks too much. So this is the gossips, it's really like slanders and um, make rumors. Those are really um, draining the soul out, don't you think so? So uh, sometimes this is inevitable in the life. We have different angle of point of views and uh, speaking out in different uh, uh, meanings and with different interpretation com and also comprehension. So this is the the otherwise is avoid a man who talks too much. Uh, if a man curses his father or mother, his lamp will be stuffed out of uh, impatient. That means like uh, loving everybody, including your parents. I think that's uh, uh, 
an inheritance quickly gained at the beginning will not be blessed at the end, which means uh, this is talking about uh, um, the inheritance and also hard working, uh, accumulated by hard working. Uh, do not say, I will pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord and he will deliver you. So this is saying that if something, uh, we all calling for mercy, passion, but sometimes wait for God. He will uh, balance, uh, will uh, balance everything. He will square everything. Sometimes if something happened, uh, you, you just leave that to the God. I think this is talking about the strength of really daily life. We need the passion, but also we need the strength. Um, with this belief, I think this is for this is what the meaning for for the God they believe. This this is how they live their life. They just believe the God will square out of the of the uh, um, you know for the wrongdoings. So uh, the Lord detests the differing ways and dishonest skills do not please Him. This is mentioned many times. Be honest and be fair. A man's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand his own way? So this means um, we all think that the way I understand myself or you understand yourself or we understand ourselves, but sometimes it's really not. Uh, you probably can see the past. Even even the past, still a lot of puzzles you couldn't figure out. Um, and uh, don't mention about the future. So this really, um, uh, nobody can understand everything. Uh, it is a trap for a man to delegate something rashly and only later to consider his vows. So this is a saying that uh, do not uh, rush for it to anything. A wise king winnows out the wicked. He drives the threshing wheels over them. So this is talk about the leader. Uh, I use the king. The king, a lot of uh, situations, even though not a king, but hold authorities, even in a small group. So regardless, if you're a leader, you need to have the wisdom, ask for wisdom, and then the wisdom will help you to um, winnow out the wicked and uh, driving threshing wheels out of them. So get rid of the shelf, uh, the chefs, the chefs, and then leave the, the, the grain of solid. The lamp of the Lord searches the spirit of man. It searches out his inmost being. So this is seeking the God, the God who is uh, uh, holding the truth look deeper the lord they believe really do look deeper uh, penetrating the surface providing the deep the depth of the soul and the heart love and faithfulness keep a king safe through love his throne is made secure so let's talk about the love and the passion not just for ordinary people the king especially king need to know how to love how to show the love the glory of a young man is their strength, gray hair and the splendor, uh, the splendor of the old. So this is a talk about the uh, the young and old. They, they're different, but they all have their own way to show the glory. So the, the young man, uh, you know, because of the strength, but the older man, um, splendor of the wisdom, the sagacity, uh, sometimes sombre, sometimes not sombre, but it's just uh, the experience accumulated with life. Uh, blows the and uh, blows and wounds cleans away evil and uh, benign purge the emos being so a beating purge the emos emos being so they sometimes do not look down those uh, harsh time it is a time for uh, really to see the truth so uh, this is about uh, the second part of chapter 20 and I'm gonna stop here hope that you can read interpret in your own way thank you for watching